Hey everyone, Wutso here, so it's Guild War time. And also at the end of the video, I will open my Fortress Feud chests on three accounts. And I will fight against three high might players. I was trying to find the highest might as possible, so I'm gonna fight against those three also. With this setup, as you can see, my Ares has 9 of 10 skills now. Working his way up to 10 of 10 skills soon. Here I will be using my Demogorgon. With 8 of 8 war guards this time. Little Nick. So I'm going to show you the full setup. Dim Anubis also. I need the better bulwark crest set. Mine really sucks. So I will also be using Michael. So this is going to be the setup that I will be using for this guild war. So let's start. Let's hope we can get some really high ones. As you can see, my fortress should be won once again. I think this is the third time in a row that we won, so not too bad. So we have a few 200 plus mites here. Not too bad. Let's hope we can get a few higher ones. We did increase our might by like 100 ranking, so it should be better. Looks like it's not, so maybe the next time it will be. So let's see where's the fifth. I think I saw two really close mites. So we have one eight four five six seven and one eight four. Yeah, it's really really close. I think they are like in twenty mites gap. So gonna recheck to make sure. Yeah, it looks like this one is a little bit higher. Hope I'm not wrong. So let's see what he has for us. So he has a middle base. With the Michael, Grim, Dread, Ares, Ghulam. Not not nothing too amazing, I think. So let's see how this is gonna go. I just dropped my Anubis and Little Nick on the right side because I wanted Anubis to tank before Little Nick, otherwise he's gonna die too fast. Already at 60%, not too bad. This is gonna be an easy win, it looks like, 100%. We didn't lose a single hero, which is really good. Up to the next one, this should be a bit harder. So let's see what he has for us. He has a few troops, looks like not all of them. So I'm just gonna go from the bottom. And going with the right side with my little Nick. Once again, Anubis is tanking, as you can see, he's taking a lot of damage. Ooh! Demogorgon almost died, that was really close, had to almost retreat, but as you can see once Ares Prox and Demogorgon at the same time, most of the heroes die. So let's see what the third one has, this is going pretty smoothly, so he has a lot of arrow towers, pretty strong ones. So as you can see Anubis is taking a lot of damage, that's why I dropped my little Nick on the right side. I don't really want him to tank any damage. So now Valentina was going for him but Demogorgon killed her, so that was cool. Looks like 100% once again. 211,000, this should be a, lit a bit harder I think. He has stronger heroes I think, as far as, as I can see. Once again, I'm dropping Anubis before Little Nick. Now I'm just gonna put my Michael in between Little Nick and Anubis. Didn't really matter in this match, but it would have worked really well, I think. So 100%, this is going really fast. And now the high one. Ah, oh, so he has his arrow towers all together. That's really interesting. I haven't seen bases like that too often. Have a feeling they are gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, as you can see Anubis is taking a lot of damage this time. Wow, Cupid almost died also. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retreat here. As you can see, Little Nick died. Demogorgon is about to die, which he did just did. No point. Actually, we killed all the heroes, but not gonna take any risks. Maybe there were bombs, so. So I'm just gonna go with Anubis and Little Nick on the right side. Demogorgon, Cupid and Ares. I dropped my Michael before Ares and Cupid to tank 
some damage also. As you can see there is a huge difference right now since those two didn't take any damage. So now it's time to find high might players. So 2640 points. It's the best that we could get. So it's not amazing. Not horrible either. Okay now let's fight some good players. Well higher might players. So as you can see we are at rank 771. It's improving each week. So soon we will have a lot of 220 plus mites we have to fight again. So that will be really cool. So I just dropped everything on the top to try and kill his hero as fast as possible. Here I used the tree. I'm just going to ditch the tree in the next one. Looks like we killed all the heroes. None of ours died so far. That really helps. Anubis is tanking like a boss. This should be 100% without any problems. Definitely also have to level up my skill of my tree because now he's reviving and it hardly revives any heroes. I think it's like 30% health, which is pretty sad. So he has a Demogorgon. This is a lot harder, it feels like. A Ghulam also. Skull Knight, Stun Towers, and like last fight. So, whoops, there goes his heroes. Hard to kill Skull in one shot, but this is not going too bad. Skull should be dying really soon, I think. He's gonna be de debuffed too hard. Okay, so once again we won. And this is gonna be the last fight. So as you can see, he has a little Nick Grim, Dread, and he has troops, but troops won't really help against Anubis. That's really cool about this hero. Most of the troops died. Let's see what's gonna happen right here. Dreddrick is doing a lot of damage. But we just wrecked his full team. Just his Michael is alive. Which shouldn't really be a problem. 90%. Now just clearing up the base. And shouldn't take much longer. Once we kill the Michael. Okay, there we go. 96 and 100%. So this wasn't too bad against really high might players. All of those three had 250 thousand might plus so now it's time to open the, the chest so this is my free to play account so let's see I'm gonna open nine at once so let's see what we can get oh actually my warehouse is full so i'm gonna have to make some some spots uh, let's see what we can actually use or sell I'm gonna sell these also gonna sell the books Shouldn't take too long before we have room. Also gonna open the hero card. Doesn't hurt having more hero spots. Okay, so now we need two more, I think. So, we have nine. Actually, we only needed 9, oh well, doesn't matter, so let's open 9 at once, let's see what we can get, I want a 5 talent chest, ooh, this looks pretty bad, really bad, I think, no good slimes, let's hope the second account has better luck, so this is my second account, so let's see what we can get here, also a 9 chest, so let's open those, Looks like one talent refresh. Also pretty bad, I think. Nothing really great. Let's hope my main account has better ones. I opened 12 since we won this fortress feud. So let's see. Still hoping for the talent. The level 5 box. So we're gonna open two ones and one ten. 
of course honor badges but we don't need ah this is a good one a mastery essence so now let's see wow actually this is not bad but not great either we have a legendary card so it's something but we don't really need it so but it's fame so it doesn't hurt so now i'm going to show you how close this fortress feud actually was so hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video thank you all for watching and have a good day bye everyone